According to multiple reports, the man that brought us Transformers Rise of the Beasts and was set to direct the upcoming Transformers G.I. Joe crossover has left the project and he might have actually left the project all the way in the spring due to some tensions and possibly racial tensions surrounding the film, the direction, and well, the director and the producer of the franchise. <laughs> Well, that's unfortunate because the only man that seems to have understood what the Transformers should be on film is apparently gone out the door. Yes, we are talking about Stephen Capel Jr., who was attached to direct the upcoming G.I. Joe Transformers crossover, and of course delivered Rise of the Beast, which many Transformers fans will tell you it's exactly what the fans were waiting for. Focus on the Transformers, give us a good sort of soft reboot with this and Bumblebee, and then start introducing more concepts. They did that, and I think most people will tell you they knocked it out of the ballpark. Now, of course, he's been attached to direct this film, and they started development before Transformers and G.I. Joe was actually uh, announced or even teased at the end of Rise of the Beasts. The report comes at us from Jeff Snyder stating that this happened, and what happened was that he walked away after a heated argument with producer Lorenzo Di Bontivera, or whatever his name is. I, I can't ever say his last name, right? Anyways, though, this is the guy that's like the Avi Arad of G.I. Joe and Transformers. Because of sheer luck and uh, falling and failing upwards, he got attached to these franchises and, well, um, got saved by the success of the Michael Bay stuff. So, you know, he kind of lucked into it. He apparently had a heated discussion and uh, creative um, control over everything. And everything that was uh, pitched at Steven was sort of like, like, what are you doing, man? And reports are stating that there was a lot of, um, and I want to state this correctly, so in quotation marks, that Steven's departure was, in quotes, racially triggered and that he found his way into directing i am legend 2 and more details have surfaced that uh lorenzo who's 67 years old might have used some uh choice language that boomers think is okay but we're in the year 2024 and using such language is not okay so make of that what you will but um if this is true this is absolutely atrocious and terrible because um, they lost the guy who was a fan growing up of these franchises and clearly showed love for it and was going to treat it with respect. And now they're probably just going to go get somebody that can whip this thing together, get it out there, and be a yes man. And that's the last thing we want from these films. So, honestly, this is pretty terrible all around. And um, to say my excitement as a... Uh, just completely diminished might be an understatement. <laughs>